Law, UFC debut at a new weight class. Talk to us about the decision to drop down after. It was only a split decision loss in your last contest. How much better do you feel at one point? I feel great. You know, uh, my goal when I got to the UFC was to uh, fight in the featherweight division, but since I got in at 55s and it was working well for me, I just decided to stay there. I guess kind of complacent, but you know, as far as strength goes, I felt you know strength was never an issue in that division. But I was, if you look at the stats, I think it's myself and Nick Hine. We are the smallest lightweights in the division, and so uh, you know after that last loss, which I still think I won that fight. I think I won two to one, so it still it, it just eats at me. But I I made the de decision to drop down to featherweight, where I think I'll be more of an average to bigger featherweight, and uh, I think I'll do really well. You know, I, I think I stack up well against anyone in the division, and I'm just excited to be in this. Uh, featherweight division now. How much of a benefit was it this week to have Andre Feely alongside you? I know you weighed in one after the other. Mm -hmm. uh, was that a, a help to you? you now you were making one foot five for the first time in a while. Yeah, definitely. Um, Andre and I have been training partners for such a long time. And the funny thing is my pro debut was at 145s and uh, Andre and I first and we fought on the same card you know I think he was 4-0 at the time and so it was just awesome now I'm making my featherweight debut again in the UFC and Andre and I are right on the same card so he's a he's a great guy one of my main training partners and uh, we're both gonna get big wins here tonight and go have some fun and check out Poland you know it's a it's amazing city and we've been having a blast sightseeing and uh, I'm stoked to just keep that going and uh, it was my wife and I's fifth year wedding anniversary yesterday um, and so now it's going to be a fun, fun weekend. We're going to stay here for a few days and then go to Copenhagen. And uh, I got to take her out to a nice dinner. So I was hoping to get that bonus if they stopped the fight in the first round. But uh, it could still happen. How sure. wary did you have to be of not overly sort of committing in that first round? You know, you dropped it a few times, but you still had two more rounds potentially to go. <coughs> How wary were you that you might have to pace yourself all the way through to this? Yeah, and that's what I thought. He was tough, and I, I know he's really dangerous off his back, so I didn't want to, you know, play into his game and uh, go in there and take a chance of, you know, getting caught in something. But, you know, I trained with the, the best team in the world. I have my jiu-jitsu coach, Felipe Brigio, and, uh, you know, Chris Holdsworth and Fabio and all of us. So I, I know I'd be safe, but I did have to just tone it down and just wait for it and pick my shots. Josh, there was a number of times in the first round when, when you did knock him down. Mm -hmm. Was it, did it run through your mind that you might be playing possum or do you think he was actually hurt? No, I, I knew he was hurt. I could see his, his eyes roll back in his head and he just kind of looked confused. Um, but man, he, he's just tough as hell and I, he, he's so experienced. You know, I think that was his 30th or 31st pro fight, his like 11th fight in the UFC. And uh, he's, he's had a lot of wars. He's never been finished with a KO or two KO. So I was really looking to give him his first uh, loss that way. But you know, it didn't, it didn't go my way, but it'll come. You mentioned that you want to fight in is it UFC Fresno? Yes. Is there any like specific opponent that you you're on for? Or? Not really. I, I I think I stack up well against anyone, so I, I'm up for anything. Uh, Shelby and and when it was Joe Silva at the time, they they asked me a so many times about fighting anyone I've never said no to a fight you know but a lot of people have said no to me and even this fight I'm not going to mention any names so you guys don't ask me but this was the fifth opponent they gave me some people in the top 15 no one wanted it so uh, I'm up for anybody I've never said no to a fight and I'm not going to start anytime soon it's a bit of a happy hunting ground for you Europe now you've had, you had a UFC debut mm -hmm. over in Europe you've now come back and you've won again is this somewhere that you'd like to come back and maybe extend this European tour and have a few more fights oh I, I, of course you know Rotterdam that was the first time I've ever been out of the country and it was a uh, it was eye-opening to me you know it was it's such a beautiful um, city over there and I saw so much stuff just to experience the culture the people the architecture and uh, we just make a, a trip out of it so that's why my wife and I we both got the world tour tattoos and we're gonna keep that going I almost like fighting overseas more than the states I've been everywhere I've been to Vegas I know that'll come eventually uh, all my friends and family want me to fight in Vegas just gives them an excuse to go there and have some fun but uh, I love going to other countries. I would fight on that Australia card if they gave me someone in four weeks. Is there anyone in the division? You anybody. <laughs> yeah, anybody. Like I, like I said, I will not say no to a fight. I think I stack up well. I'm, I'm 32 years old. I'll be 33 in March. I got into this game later than most. I train with the best team in the world. I know where I stack up. So I want to test myself. I don't want to slowly climb the ranks. Just throw me to the wolves like they have, and I'll come back leading the pack. And one more thing, I, I want to say, I wanted to dedicate this fight. You guys still on? I wanted to dedicate this fight to uh, Noah Bentley. It's one of my good friend's uh, son. He, he was born with a, a heart condition. He's 11 years old. 
and uh, he just had heart surgery. If if the the doctors didn't stop him, he would have or, or did that ex experimental surgery. You know, he could he wanted to made it till he's 18. So I, uh, I had some shirts made for him, and I, I really wanted to tell him to stay strong. He's he's a true fighter. He's a he's an awesome kid, and uh, I told him that we're gonna go get this win here. So I, I want to dedicate that fight to Noah. Okay, cool. Thank you guys. Appreciate it.